Hi golfers, Nick here from American Golf and down at Aintree Store. Stay home with me, Callaway Bro. This has just landed in store this week, so a lot of hype about this golf club. Is it going to be as good as Epic? Epic was probably the best driver alongside M2 for me last year in terms of performance in custom fitting. Now, I really loved the Epic last year, the Sub Zero for me. Awesome golf club. Now, when I first heard about the Rogue, um, I thought this is going to replace Epic, it's got the same technology, but it's not. Epic's still going to stay in the range, so the Callaway is saying Epic is still a really good golf club, but maybe try the Rogue, maybe you'll get a bit more um, forgiveness out of the Rogue compared to Epic, but still Epic is still in the range. What has changed? Now, they've got slightly thinner bars, so with the two bars that connect to the top and the bottom, obviously that's to do with the energy in the golf club. With these two bars, the jailbreak system, it stops the energy flow going out, bulging out the head, coming more out the face for higher ball speeds. They have redesigned these bars. They've gone slicker, more like an hourglass shape, as opposed to two poles sticking out the bottom. That saved them a bit of weight. The head on the standard is a lot longer than on the Rogue than it is on Epic last year. Uh, so lower centre of gravity, sort of shaved off at the bottom here. Whereas when you look at the Sub-Zero, a lot deeper sort of shape, a lot smaller head when you sit it behind the golf ball. I'm going to see what these look like when you hit and see if they feel any different, but um, obviously bigger head, it's going to fill some golfers with confidence, but then they have got a slightly smaller compact head to help with the golfers that prefer a sort of a smaller looking golf club. Now, with the technology, Last year in the Epic, you had the sliding weight in the standard, which was quite heavy. Uh, so what Calo have done is, to save some weight, they've got rid of that system, which is quite a heavy weight, and just gone for, with the standard, weight at the back, in the most forgiving, highest launching set. They've also brought out a draw bias head, so instead of having a sliding weight, they've actually got a draw head, which has got the weight in the heel to help with a little bit more draw, help close the face, lighter in the toe, and Sub-Zero, They've got two weights, as they did last year. Uh, this time they've got a two gram and a 14 gram as opposed to a two and a 12 last year. Um, I'm gonna need to spend a bit of time playing about with these drivers, but today I'm literally gonna hit these for the first time and just give my initial first impressions on these golf clubs. I've not dialed them in for the laugh, the shaft. Um, I've not had a massive warm up, but I'm going in cold. I'm just literally gonna hit five shots of each, take a look at the data, see if we can see what the differences are on my first impressions. The shaft I have is the Project X Evenflow, which is 6.0 stiff, 65 grams. It's actually one inch shorter than the standard one. So this is 44 and a half inches. For me, it feels better behind the ball and the shorter shaft does help me strike the ball a little bit better, I think, personally. So I think it's quite a good idea from Callaway, they've done this before, with having an, a shorter shaft option for you go golfers out there. So, I've got GT Quad set up, Pro V1 golf balls, I'm gonna hit five shots of each in the same shaft, then we're gonna take a look at the numbers, see what the differences are. I'm really excited to try this golf club. Okay, it's so first up, standard Callaway Rogue, nine degree. Pro V1 golf balls, GC Quad, so I'm gonna hit five shots with this. I'm expecting, somewhere around 150 plus ball speed, anywhere around 280, I'm happy with that. For me, the drive is more about consistency and ball flight, control, keeping it in the fairway, the necessary distance, but sitting behind the ball, definitely bigger head than Epic. We'll do a video comparing Epic and this at some point, but today we're just hitting three heads. Okay, it felt pretty good. <clears throat> so yeah, like, like I said, anywhere around like 280, so that went 283, uh, ball speed 155, so pretty impressed with that, first swing of the day, 106 miles an hour clubbed speed, should be able to get that up a little bit, but you can see on the stats here, middle of that shot, uh, launched at around about 11, backspin 1900, for me that's really low for a driver, so interesting to see how the Sub-Zero compares if this one stays at sort of around 2000, so Let's keep going. Felt really good though. Similar to Epic feel, but. Maybe slightly off the bottom there. But again, really good ball flight. 
carry just over 260. So again, two, 283 again, very consistent. Launch angle, same. Strike slightly lower than the previous shot. Ball speed, 157. Carbon speed went up a little bit there. Let's keep going. I'm liking the feel of this, so. Let's see if we get that one out the middle. Okay, didn't strike that at all. Bad shot that. See where it finishes. So you didn't quite get the distance there, 277. So that was a bad swing. Um, middled it, but turned the club face a little bit closer and went through the ball. Ball speed jumped up a little bit, 159. Ball speed was good, club head speed uh, 109. See the launch angle is a bit low. Uh, backspin 2000 again. So not a great swing that, I've got two more going. See that just starting down the right, trying to draw back a little bit. So maybe not quite as long that time. 277. Ball speed 155. Really good ball speed you're getting from this club. Backsman was a little bit higher there. Uh, good strike though. These strikes, I'm really nailing strikes with that short shelf driver. Really like that launch angle at 11. So we've got one more. Let's try and give this one a rip. Wouldn't normally do that on the course, but pretty good shot. 294, 295, maybe I should try and do that on the golf course. Slightly out the heel, launched at 11. Backspin rate, 24, really good. Ball speed, 161. It's one of the fastest ball speeds I've ever had. Club head speed went up to 112 there. Maybe I should take that swing onto the course. Pretty good, let's move on to sub. So feel wise, very similar to Epic. Uh, off the face, which I was sort of expecting really. Same technology, same jailbreak system. Now, I was pretty, pretty impressed with that. Like, first few swings of the day. Now I'm gonna, we'll do a proper test with Epic uh, when I'm warmed up. See if we can get some more distances, really compare them in a bit more detail. But today, really, literally, just trying to really get a feel for them. But liking it so far. Now, Sub-Zero would be the one that I'd probably normally go for. Slightly more compact head, lower spinning head. So we're gonna be looking at some of these numbers. Just taking a look, uh, just to give you an idea, on the standard model, I was averaging 157 ball speed, averaging 10 degrees launch, I was averaging two and a half thousand spin. So let's, let's see what happens when we, uh, Try this sub. Lovely looking golf club this. Much more compact head. Really like the look of this. Okay. Solid feel. Look pretty good. Decent flight. Not much curve on it. A little bit low strike on the face. Two, eight, four. Distance. Backspin, two and a half. Launch nine and a half, ball speed one five six, very similar to standard, but could have been the way I hit that. Sounds like a loud crack, but similar ball flight again. This ball's not really curving too much. Just push that slightly. Two two eight two, so similar sort of numbers here. And distance wise, eleven degree launch, backspin two six. Could have been the way I hit that. Slightly heely, slightly low on the face, so it wasn't my best strike ever. Ball speed 154. So these first few swings here, just sort of a normal golf swing that I would try and take out of the course. Just catch it a little bit low on the face. My fault. Drawing nicely that one. A bit longer, two, eight, seven. Ball speed, one, five, six. Similar 
ball speed, both heads, which you'd probably expect. Nine degree launch, back's been lower, just under 2,000 there. But I need to get one higher on the face. Two to go. Okay, yeah, felt pretty good. Definitely lower. A bit overdrawy that, I thought that was better. 280 distance. Um, 154 ball speed, a little bit higher toe strike, 11 degree launch, 1600 backspin. You can see that just drop out of the air a little bit there, which for me, I want to see a lower spin in. So pretty good now, I've got one more to go. Okay, last one, I'm really trying to step on this. See if we get up to 290 like we did with standard. Not a good shot, but look, you can see the ball fly. Not bad, still got out there. So, miss hit there. Yeah, a bit low on the face, still got 157 ball speed. Launch angle eight, backspin two four. So maybe wasn't my best swings there. Now, I will do another test when I've properly warmed up and comparing them with Epic. Uh, maybe spend a bit more time with each club individually, but just taking a look at some numbers quickly. 10 launch, backspin 2-2, so definitely lower. Don't think I've probably got that on the perfect setting for loft. 155 ball speed, that was probably the way I hit it. So definitely lower spinning, a bit lower launching. Slightly different, more flatter flight for me than the standard model. So let's move on, let's try the draw. Okay, so last up, Callaway Rogue draw. Now, this is a 10 and a half head, the other two are nine. So I've just knocked it down to 9.5, it's got it pretty close. Might actually suit me a bit more loft, uh, just judging that first attempt. But like I said, I will spend some more time and try and dial this club in for me. Uh, but same shaft. So let's see what happens with this draw. See if it draws more. So assume we sort of the head to the standard model from behind the ball. Okay, felt pretty good. Definitely high fly, I don't know if that's a loft or the head. So definitely high spinning at 266 distance. Uh, so backspin three and a half thousand, launch at 13 and a half, ball speed 152. Felt good, but just obviously not getting the night numbers for me. Let's see if that's the trend. <laughs> There's the draw. I felt pretty good to be fair. Ball I struck that pretty good out the middle. 260 total distance, 153. Ball speed launched it at 12. Backspin was low, could have been the way I struck it, I suppose, but I did hit it out in the middle, could have been slight closed club face. So, a bit lower spinning, definitely more draw there. Could have been me though. Three more. Okay, it's a little bit of an overdraw on that last shot. Let's see if it's any better. Bit high toe. Definitely draw in this draw version is. So for me, it's definitely working, but you compare that to the other ball flights, wasn't drawing that much. So 279, uh, ball speed 152, pretty good strike, um, backspin 1900. It's definitely spinning a bit lower than I thought it would. It could have been because of that, that draw shape on the ball. So last two. Definitely drawing money. Saw the ball flight with the other drivers. Two seven six distance, one thirteen club speed, one five seven ball speed, backspin two eight, which was kind of what I'd be expecting from that. Uh, Jack's in the video behind me. So hello, Jack. Hello. Now I've got one more shot to go. Let's try and step on this way. Let's see if I need that. Okay, last shot. So I'm gonna try and give this one a bit of a rip. So I'm getting started all right actually. Definitely starting more right. Wow, it's definitely shaping a lot more. Maybe I need to try it a little bit harder. <laughs> Get a bit more distance. So, two, two eight, four distance. Club, uh, ball speed, 156, spin rate, two, two. Launched angle, 15. So now let's take a look at those three drives in a bit more detail. Okay, so first test hitting the Rogue. Do like the feel of it, very similar to Epic. I'm like, gonna test this against the Epic just to see on the day, see what the difference is. Obviously Callaway brought this driver out 
to be a bit more consistent than running it alongside Epic, just not to replace it. So I wasn't expecting to hit that any further or anything like that, but I think once you get dulled in with the right shaft, it's, I was getting a good spin rate with that. I think that's a really good drive, just need to do a little bit more tweaking with it. But first hit, same shaft, three different heads. Now, started off with the standard rogue. You could see there, I got it out to 295 at the end there, which was reasonably long for me. Uh, that's with my longer or faster swing, if you like, trying to hit that a bit harder. But I really like that standard head. I, I think that was really good. I, was, I thought, my initial thought would be sub-zero for me all day long. Um, but actually, the, the standard model did perform pretty well for me. I did prefer the looks of sub-zero, so more testing to be done there. Now, taking a look at some data, we're going to put this all up on the screen together so you can see. Averages, that's what I'm going to look at. Ball speed. 157 standard, 155 sub zero, 154 draw. Now that could be down to strike, but the pattern is there. High 150s, got it up to over 160 for me. It was pretty good with that standard model at the end there. Launch angles. Now bear in mind the draw bias was half a degree more lofted. Couldn't get them exactly the same. Launch angle standard 10.2. Callaway sub zero, 9.9, .9, virtually the same and then draw bias 12.8, so high launching with the draw bias compared to the other two, but the other two very similar. Backspin rates, 2.4 with standard, 2.2 sub-zero, 2.4 with draw. So consistent spin rates with standard and draw, sub-zero lower, which you'd expect. Now looking at the side spin, definitely more curved to the left with the draw bias. So 4.75 curved to the left on average, standard, 364 average, sub-zero, 900 average with draw, which you'd expect. So that ball missed more to the left with the draw bias. So on average, I missed 25 yards to the left with uh, the draw bias, one yard to the left with the sub-zero, and nine and a half yards to the left with the standard model, which you probably kind of expect. Distances, 283 average with standard, 283 average with sub-zero, 273 average with the draw. So there's obviously a club there to suit every type of golfer. I really like the look of that. Definitely more testing to be done, but on first hits, really impressed. Callaway Rogue, thumbs up from me.